Mitchell, weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in. Nick Diaz, Rory McDonald. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trunks for McDonald. Black trunks for Diaz. One thing that Nick Diaz is going to look for in this fight is that powerful overhand left. He looks for the single but can't get it. He's trying to take the back here. He's got his back now. here, 45 seconds. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. He's looking to take them back. 20 seconds left. Now falls back into guard. He's posturing up here. Our first round is in the books. Half guard. Uh -oh. nice. Hip escape, nice hip escape. He's now working from side control again. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. Now he's going to the arm bar. Break the grip. Excellent technique here. Got the arm bar and got the tap. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, 
Tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 20 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz, your winner by submission. Schedule for three five-minute rounds. He was just an intensely dedicated kid. He knew what he wanted to do at age 16, Joe, and he just said, this is it. Everything else goes aside. This is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be a world champion. Another nice kick. Whoa. Very solid. Oh, he's he is in big trouble here. Beautiful body shot there, too. Another big shot to the body. Look at this! Take down! He's gonna try to take the back. Now the full guard. And he gets up. Big right that hand. was a big right hand, Mike. Hard straight punch. Back and forth battle. Big kick just missed. Nasty combinations here. Oh, powerful kicks. Big straight punch. Oh, he rocks oh, him. He him. Trying to stay out of trouble here. Vicious shot to the body. Big combination. He connects with the left. He is going after it here. Between them. So he's in half guard here. He's looking for the Kimura. He's transitioning to the arm bar from the Kimura. Break the grip. He got it. And it is all over. Won the fight by arm bar. Beautiful job. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Great win here. Got the submission on the arm, and it was all over. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Nick! Diaz! Nick Diaz earns the win by submission. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. One thing to keep an eye out for is the overhand right of Robbie Lawler. It is a vicious strike. He's able to block the punch. Man, he just missed with that straight left. 
He quickly gets this fight to the ground. Look at this. He's out of it. Nick gets side control. And he's gonna try to take the back. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Got his back again. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Nick's trying to isolate that leg. He's in half guard here. He's looking for the knee bar. What he wants to do is he wants to throw his leg over the top. Then once he's got to hold the leg, scoot his hips down, rock a hold of the leg, extend his body, then wrap the leg behind. It is all it. over. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Let's take a look at the setup here. You see it one more time, gets that leg, locks it in, and look at the pressure here. Nice submission. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz, your winner by submission. Is tall. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Nick Diaz. Carlos Kahn. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Let's Here go. we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Condit. Black trunks for Diaz. Carlos Condit, the natural born killer, the last champion at 170 pounds of the WEC and very well versed in all disciplines, Joe. Yeah, Carlos Condit is a very exciting new addition to the UFC's lineup, but really proved himself with his WEC victories. And he lands again. Very good overhand. Those are really starting to be some Nice kicks. These guys are going at it. Oh, good right hand. Oh, big shot from the top. And now in the full bar. There's a left that connects. And now looking to finish by submission. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Transitions to the arm bar. This is getting tighter. He can tap any it second. Is it's all it. over. Great job in establishing that submission. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again, beautiful submission victory. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission, we do it on bar, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz, your winner by submission. And when the action begins, so 
the referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Here you go, first one, you ready? You ready? Let's and go, here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Black trucks for Condit. White trucks for Diaz. Nick Diaz will throw a powerful overhand left. It's one of his best weapons. Oh, nice wow. body kick. Another big kick lands. Wow! Beautiful punch. And a big right hook yes. by Nick Diaz. Huge kick. This is where he's outstanding. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Mounts again. Look at that. Again. He's got the back again. He hip escapes from the full mount. And again, he's back into side control. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. Diaz going for a choke here. Under three now. Yeah, he's in trouble, Mike. He's in big trouble. Outstanding. And it is all over. Outstanding. He got the choke for the tap. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take a look at the setup here. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop in this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Nick D. Nick Diaz gets the submission victory here tonight. Coming up next, it's a welterweight showcase between Nick Diaz and Tim, the Dirty Bird Beans. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight battle. Both fighters are 32. Means is two inches taller. Diaz will have a one inch reach advantage. Bruce Buff. Nick Diaz. Tim Means. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trunks for Means. Black trunks for Diaz. One thing to keep an eye out for is the vicious overhand left of Nick Diaz. Both men looking <laughs> to do damage early. And he continues to mix up his strikes. Nice hook there. Just Just missing, missing the, the elbow. elbow. Nick Diaz with a nasty leg kick. And they're up. Damaging leg kick by Diaz. Vicious leg kicks from Nick Diaz tonight. Absolutely. And he scores a single leg takedown. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Moves to full guard. Means gets it back into his guard. Nick's back inside control. Half guard right now. Three minutes. Excellent sweep, winds up in guard. He's back in the full guard now. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. Full guard now. Oh, great transition. Side control here again. Diaz has got the full mount again. He's working from his back again. He's just gonna step right back over. 
He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Side control. Nicely done. Wow, quick movement on the ground. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. Back to half guard. Moving in half guard. Now he's back into full guard. He's moved back into side control. In half guard. Now he gets the full mount again. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Now falls back into guard. Means gets back up again. Just misses with the left. Quick inside leg kick by Mitt. Nice jab. Both men scoring points here. He lands a very nice combination. Continuing to strike well. Diaz's opponent has got to start checking these kicks. Final seconds of the round. Means gets caught by the inside leg kick. Really good job of winning that series of punches. Round one is complete. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Amazing highlights from that. You ready? You ready? Round two. Good jab landed right away by Nick. Diaz with a strong leg kick. He was set up perfectly to block that hook. And again, good hook to the body by me. Looking for the takedown, wants to single. Half guard. He establishes back control. Nice transition to the top. Nick gets him in the rubber guard. Inside the guard again. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Means with the hammer fist. He's got his back now. He's trying to attack here with a rear naked choke. There's more and more pressure on the arm. He could be tapping any second. You got it. He got it. all over. Nicely done. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz, winner by submission. The welterweight showcase between Nick Diaz and Tyrant, the chosen one, Woodley. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Woodley is one year his elder. Diaz is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Oops. Nick Diaz. Tyron Woodley. You ready? You ready? And we are underway. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Woodley. Black trunks for Diaz. Takedown. He's 
got the back. This is where he's outstanding. He's trying to attack here with a rear naked choke. He escapes the rear naked choke. Woodley with a nice punch from the bottom. Good shot. Wow. Back up to the feet. Nice kick by Diaz. Nick with some inside leg kicks. Both men landing in that exchange. Nick Diaz is landing some very effective leg kicks tonight. Joe, you're right. Those leg kicks are really starting to slow down his opponent. Woodley with a jab that scores. Man, Joe, he's connecting with those punches. Tries for a low single. Oh, and down. In half guard position, he gets the full mount. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. He's moved back into side control once more. In half guard, Nick's got the full mount again. In full guard. And he's back up again. Good job blocking the punch. Boom, right on the button. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Turning into an all-out slugfest. Push him off. Push him off. Vicious shot to the body. They are really battling for position in the clinch. Joni lands another takedown here. Outstanding wrestling. Look at this. He's out of it. In the full guard here. It appears he has a cut on his nose. Nice shot to the head. Round one comes to a close. Takedowns landed so far. Joe, I wouldn't be surprised if he looks to try to set up another takedown. Nice work on the count. There, there it is, is Joe. We were looking for it. Good jab. Great exchanges. Woodley with the combination to the body. Very good job of timing these punches. Another hard leg kick from Diaz. There's that takedown attempt. And he scores with another takedown. Let's see what he can do from here. Side control. Nicely done. Really good movement on the ground. Back up. Midway point of the fight. Get yourself to the side. Scramble, scramble. Good kick with the left by Woodley. Tags up. Diaz with the combination. Oh! Boy, he's in big trouble, Mike. Vicious combination. Big straight punch. Huge kick to the head, Lance. That's a big hook. 
nasty combinations here. Nick Orthodox stance again. Nice, nicely done. Man, some nasty body shots. And you can see the bruising starting on the left side. The huge head kick is blocked. And he stuffs another takedown. That's a good kick. Solid leg kick. Tyron Woodley supporting has to do a much better job at protecting that cut. He certainly is targeting that cut. He's like a shark. He smells blood, and he's trying to open that thing up. Man, outstanding takedown defense to me. Nick Diaz with an excellent leg kick. Softening his opponent up, trying to set something up here. Final seconds of the second round. Look at this. Nice kicks. He tries for the single, but doesn't get it. We have completed two rounds. Let's take another look at some of the actions in that round. Nick Diaz is really starting to bleed from his nose. He got hit hard and clean in that round. You can see the evidence clear. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. You ready to fight? You ready? Third and final round. Nice, oh, nice. nice kick. First takedown of the fight. He's got some space now. He's posturing up. Nice hammer fist. Back to their feet. Looking to take him down again. Good job blocking the punch. Nice leg kicks here, Mike. He's landing some beautiful kicks here on his opponent. As we track the fight, we see the number of total strikes land. Beautiful jab. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. He tags him with the left. Beautiful combination. Woodley with the inside leg kick. Blood dripping. Battle continues. Oh, nice good left, left hand. hand. Wow, swing and a miss. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Checked. Nicely done, too. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Head kick. Goes for a single. Nasty leg kick. He's doing some damage with those kicks. Very good exchanges here. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Nice hands. Oh. And he looked for it again. Caught him with a punch. Tyron Woodley is continuing to punish that wounded eye. And you can see that the swelling continues to get worse and worse. He's absolutely targeting that eye. You can clearly see, and he's landing combinations on it repeatedly. Landing at will tonight. Nice hook. Another one gets through the head. Looking for the single. Woodley with a nice punch. Man, he's got the reversal. Able to posture up. Throws a hammer at him. Vicious ground and pound strikes here. And they're back to their feet. That jab is lightning fast. Oh, that's a powerful elbow. elbow. Nice oh, elbow. He, oh, he hurt him. This may be it. Finish, 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 finish. Final 10 seconds of this fight. This Great one fight. goes the distance. What an outstanding back and forth fight. Joe, this was a great fight, a back and forth battle. And it's going to be very tough for the judges to determine who has earned the victory. Very difficult to pick a winner in this fight. It is really just a coin flip. And here's another clean shot that lands. Round three, excellent timing and accuracy on this elbow.
We have our official decision, and here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest, 29-28, Woodley. Judge two scores it, 9-28, Diaz. And judge three scores it, 30-27, for the winner by split decision, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz, victorious by split decision.